Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here from Baby Bunting Reborns. I thought I'd um, come on and show you my twins again because I had a thought about their tummy plates. I'd forgotten all about their tummy plates until I was watching Stephanie from In Love With Reborns 2011 and she was talking about a custom order that she had made of a baby called Sally which is another Bonnie Brown kit and she was talking about the tummy plate and I thought oh yes my babies have got tummy plates it's just that I never use them so I thought I would show you and that gave me the perfect excuse to show you their nappies because I know most of you use disposables or the new kind of cloth nappies I have those as well but I just love these old-fashioned cloth nappies with the I've got really vintage pins to go with them um, yep, so I thought I'd show you these gorgeous little babies, and I almost said girls, but one's a boy, and, um, what I wanted to tell you about the nappies was that about 43 years ago, when my first son was born, we used to live in a flat, and we didn't have a laundry in the flat, we had to go downstairs to the laundry, so I used to do that, and in that laundry there was some very old-fashioned equipment, there was a copper, which is like a big bucket that heats water up to boiling. And then there were two concrete tubs side by side, joined by a divider. And a washing machine that we called a ringer, which I think some people used to call a mangle. And that's how I used to wash the nappies, my, my baby's nappies. I used to boil them up in the copper, which of course got them all clean. And then I put them in the washing machine with some um, washing powder, agitated them away, and then filled the two troughs with water, clean rinsing water, and put the nappies back and forth through the wringer and the clean rinsing water, and that was my nappy regime. It did get a bit easier after that with my... Um, subsequent babies because obviously then there was um, I think it was called nappy sand or maybe Milton I can't remember and we used to soak the nappies in a bucket or two buckets even and then I used to just wash them every day in a normal washing machine so for me these nappies are mm, they hold a lot of memories this type of nappy and I just love the look of them on the babies even from the back they look adorable, it makes their little bottoms look just the sweetest shape. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the nappies. But now I also want to tell you about their gorgeous outfits that they're wearing. Because these two little shirts came from a shop in Spain that my friend Annie from Ann Walker um, helped me buy. That's how I got to know Annie. She was really kind and the problem was that the shop wouldn't sell to, wouldn't post to Australia and I thought, how crazy is that? Anyway, they wouldn't. So I asked Annie if she could put an order through for me and she not only put the order through but she so carefully made sure that each item number was correct, was the one that I asked her for, the size was correct, everything. She was really careful and really caring and... I knew she would be. I knew when I asked her that she would be helpful. And she's gorgeous. I love Annie. And so that's what their tops are. If I just, because you know I have this hand problem, so I'll just move the camera and pull down their shirt so you can see what they look like. I hope you don't get too sick. Hold on to your buckets, girls. There we go. Now you can see them. I hope that didn't make you too sick. It's pretty horrible to watch. Anyway, there's their beautiful shirts. Aren't they just gorgeous? Underneath they've got little, um, kind of little vests. And they have matching nappy covers that I normally have on them. But of course, for today's purpose, I took them off. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. I might just go up close so you can see some of their details. I'll show you their little faces. I've made the boy. He's slightly pinker than the girl. So John T, this is John T. And this is Peppa. I'm in front of an uh, open window and it's a beautiful sunny day so I hope you can see some of their detail. I deliberately left their bonnets off so that you could see what I love in their heads. You may not, you may think she's crazy. 
they just look like silly old heads but to me they're just beautiful with the bone structure and I've put a lot of um, painting detail onto them probably can't see that in this but they've got um, undertones, mottling, sort of red splotches nothing too drastic I don't like I don't like it to look like clown painting but um, just subtle painting let me see if I can show you some of their bit of, of their hands this is one of John T's little hands colours coming up very strange on the camera and let me see if I can just show you Pippa's hand one of her hands there we go you can sort of see the nails a bit but they're my babies I just love them you know I have got one other baby I thought I could show you she's a little baby who's been for sale on eBay but sadly the person who bid on her didn't pay for her it just always upsets me because I always feel the poor baby must think it's not wanted but anyway so I've got her she's a little little rosy kit by Laura Lee Eagle she's adorable and if you'd like to see her maybe I'll bring her on next time and you can have a look at her because you're probably getting pretty sick of the twins by now so oh, I know what else I wanted to tell you that it's Tuesday here it's Tuesday afternoon on a stunning day bright blue sky um, it's still meant to be winter, but it's 22 degrees Celsius here. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. Might be, I don't know, have to look it up, but it's just beautiful. It's as warm as toast and it's gorgeous. So that's my day today. I have to work tonight. I do one overnight shift a week, so I usually try to keep Tuesdays pretty quiet so that I can go to sleep early and then I get up at about 11, go into work to start at midnight till 6 in the morning. So Wednesdays are always a write-off and Tuesdays are pretty quiet. I found if I um, have a busy day on Tuesday, it's just too hard to wind down um, in, in the afternoon, well, in the early evening to go to sleep. So I tend to keep it quiet, just do jobs at home like washing and, you know, all that stuff, organising stuff. So that's my day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention is that I'm using well, old school technology, instead of my phone, which wouldn't let me record more than a couple of minutes, I'm using my old, old camera, which doesn't pause, unfortunately, but hopefully this video will work, and hopefully you'll get to see it. Um, so, yes, I'll upload it and see how it comes out. So thanks very much for watching, and come back soon. I'll show you Rosie if you'd like to see her. Bye-bye.